Hey guys, so as some people requested, I'm going to make a tutorial for Infinite's Bad. I'll put a link somewhere if you want to watch the actual cover video. And this song has uh, five parts. There's the verse, pre-chorus, chorus, chorus um, second verse, and bridge. Plus also the solo in the beginning, but I'll explain that at the end for people who don't want to learn that part. So just like in my other um, tutorials, I use basically just power chords here. And the first one is G. So take your pointer finger and you press the third fret on the top E string. And then your ring finger and your pinky press the um, fifth fret on the two strings below that, which is the A string and the D string. So your finger is going to be formed like this throughout the song. And then um, for my I plucked it at first, so I don't know how to explain this pattern, but yeah, that's how I played it. So this is the G, and then you move your pointer finger one fret back to the second fret. Um, just like in my previous video, again, I don't know what chord this is, I don't know what it's called, but I'll call it G flat for now since um, since the root the root note is G flat. So we start off with G, G flat, and then you move to the first fret, which is that F power chord, and then you press. Use your pointer finger to press this down, second fret on the A string, and just um, bar bar the strings. So. to the 6th fret on the A string this is the D sharp and then you move 2 frets up to F this is F power chord so I'm not very good at explaining but I'll just show you so. But yeah, so for the pre chorus, we use the same chords but um, we play it differently. So again, D sharp, the sixth fret on the A, E string, and this time you um, press the rest of your fingers on the 8th fret on the 3 strings below that. This is my thumb to pluck the root note down, the D sharp note. Pluck it down and then pluck the rest. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. I hope you can just follow along by watching. So, after this, you move it 2 frets up to F. to G, move back to F, but this time add your middle finger on the 2nd fret, 2nd fret G string, so, and we go to D sharp again, but this time we start strumming it, so. Instead of going to F, we go. We move up to the sixth fret to A sharp. Start off with G, the G power chord, and then move the whole thing one fret up, and then move it back to G, and we do that. We do that pattern three times: D sharp, and then F. 
and you play that whole sequence twice. So. For the second verse, I started off by strumming G the G power chord. It's like the chorus, and then it goes to D sharp, and do that again. And then after that, um, after the that sequence, then you play the rest just like um, the first verse. So I'll just basically play the whole second verse just so you can see how it goes. So eat it up, chat it up now like roller coaster. Eat it up, chat it up now, so bad. Caught you much at that comment. I'm sitting young like a red suck yo gagaye lose my focus in jubane. So then just play the pre-chorus and the chorus after that which I went over earlier. So the last sequence that I'm going to teach you is the bridge and it's pretty simple, still same chords, just different, um, different pattern. First one is G, and then A sharp, so third fret, sixth fret, and then sixth fret on the E, on the a string that's D sharp again, and then F. So you play that twice, and if this is all basically just me showing you, and then you can just follow along because there's not much to explain. So the next part is the solo, but first I'll show you the the background music that I played when I played the intro solo part. Um, you didn't see me play this, but you can hear it. So starts with G power chord, and you pluck you pluck it in that pattern. G G flat. to D sharp and then go back to G again and basically play the same way and then this time after D sharp we go to F so um, if you have like a friend that you want to play both parts with so one of you guys could play this part while the other one plays the solo. So uh, I don't know how to explain this plucking pattern. I'll just show you. So that back and forth. Um, I hope you can just watch and learn. So the last part I'm going to teach you is the solo part which is the hardest part of the song. First off, it's not tuned um, standard. Just the top E string is tuned as D. So what I do is just Google um, or look at YouTube and look up D, D tuning. And so just tune it to the D. So 
just the top string of D. So we start off by sliding on the B string, on the B string, second, um, second from the bottom. Um, you slide to the eighth fret. So slide from four, four to eight. Pull off from ten to eight. Then move back to seven. Then seven, eight, ten. Slide to eleven, and then back to ten. Back to eight. Then slide ten, eleven, and ten again, and then eight. Um, I'll just do it, I'll just do it again. Then you slide to fifteen, and then it's thirteen, eleven, thirteen, and what do you call that? Hammer, hammer on. So fifteen. 13, 11, 13, and then 11 to 13 hammer on. And this part is pretty difficult. So on the D string, that's third from the top, you start off with the you start off at the fifth fret. Then go to go to seven, then eight, and you play that seven times. So like that. You go to 5th fret on the G string, so basically, just like you played on the D string, you play it the same on the G, 5, 7, 8, then 7, pull off, pull off and hammer on, pull off to 5, hammer on to 7, and then, Eight, slide to seven, and then pull off to five. And then eighth fret on the D string, and then fifth fret on this G string. Hammer on to seven. And, and then from eighth fret on that same G string. You, you slide to 5 with your ring finger, you slide to the 5th fret, and hammer on twice from 3rd to 5th fret, and then 3rd, 2nd, so after, so 5th, off to third and then slide to two. So five to third, fifth fret to third fret, um, pull off and then slide to second fret. And on the string above that, that's the D string, play fifth and then fourth, fifth to fourth, and then the string above that again, and the A string, it's fifth to third, fifth to third, and then the very top string on the E string. A string which is tuned down to D. Press the seventh fret to five and then third to open. I hope that makes sense so and I'll just play the whole thing slowly. the hardest part and I tried to play it how the how their guitarist played it when they did the acoustic live version and I just listened to it by ear so it wasn't really accurate with how they did 
with how their guitars played it, but that was the best I could do. So I hope that was helpful and useful for you. And I hope you were able to just watch and learn with this tutorial. And yeah, good luck with learning the song. Thanks for watching.